practice? Everything yeah, smooth? happy with it. You know, guys are working hard. Um, yeah, I just think we're progressing. You know, we got some competition going on. There's definitely some learning. It's not the, you know, always the cleanest at times when you're installing some new stuff, especially on the, the younger and the newcomers. But uh, really happy with the effort put forth after four practices. Um, yeah, we got another one tomorrow. Did it appear to you when you had the team stuff that the offense and defense were kind of even, neither one? Really yeah, I think it's some good back and forth. Um, and I think that's been really for four days. A couple of good throws, a couple of good runs that popped. I think we were around the quarterback a few times, probably sacks and was live, you know, so. And that's what you're looking for in training camp, back and forth to be, to be pretty competitive. You, you had mentioned you were going to do more get split guys up more and you've been doing a lot of that how is that working out i think it's been great you know just getting the other field everybody getting opportunities and then you know we got meetings toward the end of the day and now they can actually watch themselves getting reps and so it's been a, a lot of good work that was that a little more busy for you in the film room? it is yeah. yeah your coach is managing it but you like it that way you want to have a bunch of the tape to watch with these guys you want these guys getting reps and experiencing it and ultimately yeah making a mistake or two so they can learn from it how are you feeling about the, uh, the offensive progress as far as the chemistry you're hoping to develop? Yeah, I think it's, you know, continued progress. It's not perfect right now, uh, especially when we're rotating in multiple positions. You know, the quarterback thing's been equal for four straight days. Um, and then even the receiver mode, we're rotating through. we got multiple tight ends playing. Old line wise I mean, that first group's been pretty steady, but then you're rotating through second and third. So, uh, and that's what you use in training camp to, to get some chemistry and timing. Sam looked pretty sharp. Uh, uh, Neuer looked pretty sharp out there today. Do you think he's kind of picked up the playbook pretty quickly? Yeah, we've been really impressed with how he's picked it up. Um, I think he's each day gets more and more comfortable. We talk about the timing and and just adjusting to the offense. Uh, I will say that whole group, I thought it's been, been solid for four days. You know, Chance has made some plays with his feet and throws. And Tristan leads the team down on the touchdown drive today. And even Ben Zach continues to grow. So we like where that room's headed. You mentioned the touchdown. Beeson made a nice catch on it. Just what have you seen this? Yeah, so far? it's been decent. I mean, he's had a good camp, made some plays, uh, works really hard. You know, his precision and route running is there physical, knows what he's doing, um, and so he's been a go-to guy for four days. We're counting it for really the entire season. It seems like whoever's at quarterback is going to be throwing Luke Musgrave a lot. Uh, just how yep. how pleased are you with where he's at and heading into the year? Do you think he could be prime for Yep, I think year? he's continued. He had a big-time spring, yeah. and he's just continued it. You can see it. He's a big target out there running, understands his body control. He's kind of had a couple you know, contested catches, uh, so we're counting on him being a big threat. What's the latest on Hodge? Yeah, Hodge will be a longer term. He had surgery actually yesterday on his foot. And so we're, you know, give or take, eight weeks on his foot. What's that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It's feel, either the left or the right. Fifty yeah. percent <laughs> shot, right? Yeah. Do you feel pretty good about the, the transfers and how far they're coming with just reaction and, and, and uh, play knowledge? Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a group of guys. These guys are on a little bit different level. Like I just think about Elijah Jones and how he's doing things. He's having a great four days of getting here. You know, Keontae and uh, a little bit of a knee he might be missing a few days here, but we don't see it as long term. So each of those transfers are on different different spots. With this happening to Isaac early in, the, early in camp, is it, I, mean, I don't want to say it's a blessing, but it gives you more time to kind Definitely. of work, work around that yeah. situation. Yeah, yeah, and you know, we're getting a lot of reps with the guys anyways, but yeah, I mean, and, you know, it's college football, you need guys to step up at every position. Um, you know, we got Tegan down currently, you know, we got those younger guys stepping up, Jaden Grant, you know, not getting as much time right now, and we got other guys stepping up, so counting on them. D line doing the same. Could a guy like Thomas see you get more reps on the D line as yeah. a result? I mean, next man up, you know, Thomas, Alex, obviously we've got Simon here, and James Rawls is having a really good yep. camp. And then, you know, Keontae when he gets himself back, and Tavis ship in. And so we got some other guys. Any idea when, when Jim might be back? Um, he was actually at the team meeting last night, and so we're back around, so we're shooting for the hopefully the next couple of days. Okay. Well, we'll know when we hear it. <laughs> yeah, it'll take long. It seemed like today the little bit more amped up and juiced up with the full pads on. Does that make the competition that much higher? Or I guess, is it easier to kind of see who stands out in this kind of format? You know, I think it's, uh, you always want it competitive, but it was a little bit more physical. And as we progress, you know, shoot for a scrimmage on Saturday, we're hoping for that to be as competitive and physical as, as anything. But these guys have been working well together, taking care of each other, but making it physical and competitive. You've had five practices now. Um, are they all been 
pretty good, or is there one that was really good and one that maybe wasn't yeah. very good? Or, or no, are they all pretty much. None of them really stand out way better than the other. I've been pleased with the work and uh, just know it. Like, you, you practice for a reason, it's not always going to be perfect. And if they're in a constant state of improvement, which they have been for four days, uh, we're happy. Tomorrow, pad, more pads. It'll be the same again. We got shells dictated to the NCA with shells, and then we'll put the pads on full on Thursday. Thursday. Oh, okay. yeah. So you'll have two days of that before you're able to scrimmage that. Yeah. Okay. Any time changes because of heat? Not, uh, no. I mean, it feels great out here right now. We're already done. Uh, I know it's getting a little warmer. We're, these guys have been hammering the hydration and, and got drinks going everywhere. And so we got our eyes on it, but no current time change for anything. Hodges is the only one that's long term. Currently, yeah. 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 You mentioned you've been pretty pleased with the practices, but is there one or two things that you're really looking for improvement as you head into that scrimmage this weekend? Uh, you know, just picking up, you know, you make a mistake today, we're cleaning that up for tomorrow, and this, the amount of plays that are in the installs on both sides of the ball is, is getting heavier and heavier. We did some third down today, we'll do some red zone here in a couple days, and so just the details of the stuff that we get reps on, to so tighten it up. Handful of newcomers in the receiver room this year. What have you seen so far from guys like Micaiah Tom and yep. John Dunmore? Yep, I thought both of Micaiah and, and JD John have, have done solid. You know, even Micaiah missed majority of spring, so this is kind of the first time out there. I thought Jimmy Bath Nelson has, has made some plays as a freshman, and so we like that new group. Kind of going off of that, how deep is that West wide receiver group right well, now? Well, it looks pretty deep right now, but it's going to be competitive. I mean, we're going to play the best guys. And so as that group currently might look at about eight, ten guys, it's going to get tightened if guys begin to separate. And, uh, and we got some veterans, Brad Brady, who's played today. We already talked about Beeson. So that's a talented, competitive group. Champ Fleming seems like he's like a little ball of fire in terms of his size and how he is on the field. I guess how fired up is he about coming back this season, getting more reps after he sort of got a little taste of what he's made of last yeah, year? I think he's always been you know, fired up. He's been a great practice player his whole career. Um, he can do so many things, veteran, special teams included. Um, so he just adds to that depth of the receiver. And he also made the number changes yeah. in the offseason. Is yeah, there a reason for that or just, just because? You know, all these guys, there's a bunch of them that change and they want to change. It's available. I'm, I'm fine with that.